I work with seniors teaching them how to use um, smartphones, iPads, and computers. And then I also teach the younger generation how to be sensitive to seniors and their aging and slower lifestyle. Since they're teaching them and working with them and trying to educate them on technology, we really have to be as sensitive to where they're at. I have gathered a bunch of materials that I use in an aging sensitivity class. As people get older, certain faculties of theirs start to wane away. For a young person, it's really hard to understand that. So I compiled a package of things that will help me to age those students in place, and hopefully they become a little more tolerant of the population they're working with. The largest problem I encounter with the young kids who are trying to work on this project are that they come from a generation where everything is really fast. The population they're dealing with are not those people. They're the people who went to the library or waited for the newspaper to come out or watched the six o'clock news so they had to wait until six o'clock. So my goal is to slow down the 20-somethings so they can work with the 60, 70, 80-somethings. But on this, I don't know anything about it. With a smartphone, you know, sometimes you have to know yeah, what you have got to know what you're doing. Do. I don't need a cell phone, a phone when I'm on the street. I only need it at home. In time, I never had a phone to walk around. It's not recently everybody got a phone. There are two really important reasons that I like the elderly to have the telephone. Um, one is a safety concern. They can call emergency services right from their pocket. The other is that it helps the senior population to feel very connected with their family. Families are often spread out across the globe and this way they can send a photo or receive it or send a text message and feel a lot less isolated. My name is Karen and what I do at PACE is teach aging sensitivity. So the first thing I can do is age you all a little bit. <laughs> So there's a couple things we do. One thing, people tend to lose their sense of fine tactile touch. And it put a glove on your right hand, right-handed. Just gonna stick this in your shoe. Is what it feels like to have arthritis in your feet. So we're gonna stiffen up some of your joints. So arthritic patients can't move their fingers. They lose their fine sense of control. A lot of the patients today have visual loss. Plugs in. <laughs> Let's start our day. It's just taking a long time. I can't press the numbers. The num the buttons are too small. Yeah. This is what it's like to be about 75 and, and imagine doing this on your own. You know, you're living by yourself. I can't even do one number. I love to teach the courses because I feel like I'm making a connection between two generations. It's teaching sensitivity and there's nothing better than getting someone to understand another person. I don't get into my email. And the thing is, my fingers are big and this thing is so yeah. fine. Hi, G. Good morning. Hi. Hi, Sarah. Yeah. 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 I am so scared that when I take it and play with it, I might press something that I should not press. It is hard to retain everything that you've learned. You know, you have this nice, okay, and you get home. What did they say I'm supposed to press? For? But you just experiment, that's all. The most difficult thing is to like answer a call when you have an incoming call. And now I'm on this line and Carol's on the other line. But I don't like three way. You're not on three way. Carol is on hold. Okay. And now we're having a conversation. Okay. I was in confusion, but I think I understand a little. Okay. And then sometimes I'll see LOL. What's LOL? Laughing out loud. <laughs> oh, just text you back and say, I don't understand what you're saying. Why don't you tell me? Anyway, I love you. Grandma. Then they complain. You don't text all this thing. Man, you write a paragraph. You could write a book. Yeah. She's taking your picture. Jeez. 
you do see progression and they have a, a great sense of achievement when they've mastered a skill and they can pick up the phone and call someone or, or again receive that picture they are so proud of themselves so when they get excited about something it just makes you excited too and it's it's fun to be a part of that process it's interesting how quickly we, we come to depend on this it's like why do I need this thing you know five ten years ago I could care less if I had a phone but I just just like the convenience of being able to talk to whomever, wherever, you know, people can call me. It really opens up freedom mm -hmm. that allows you to take care of your family, yet continue with your daily activities of life. <laughs> she, she replied to the text and she wrote in all perfect, beautiful English. I think you have done a beautiful job. So her reply was, I see what they mean by her long texts. <laughs> You can respond with an LOL if you'd like. Okay. Yeah, you can. <laughs> okay, no, I'm going to put the LOL. Yes. <laughs>